Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is Sunday, March the 3rd. And as per usual, I'll start by scanning in the top three rows. I've got sixes in rows two and three. I can place a six in one of two spots in row one. Eight, this eight, this eight, and oh, this eight. We'll throw an eight in one of two spots in this row. Won't it? Yeah. Six and six and eight and eight. Eight and eight. Put an eight there. Six and six. Put a six here. So this is a six eight hidden pair. That will greatly help. Those fives, we'll put a five in one of these two. These two twos, we'll put a two in one of those three. Which is all I get. These threes, I'm going to put a three right there, and that's actually placed. This three, this three, and this three all look in the box. Nine and nine. I'll throw a nine one of these two, but not here, so that's a nine. Uh, this nine and this nine now force a nine one of those two. This three and this three actually force that one to be a three. But that's as far as I get there. One, seven, five, eight without the three, nine. In the bottom three rows, so I'm done. Okay, scanning vertically, I've got some eights. So eights in one of those three. I have some ones. One's one of those two. Not here because of this one looking left. In the middle three columns, oh, I've already done my nines. Uh, four will be in one of those two. If four and nine are taken out, I have one, two, five, three, seven once each. I'm done. Okay, the rightmost three columns, I'm going to get a lot done. Threes are already done. Sixes, one of those two. If three and six are out, I have seven, eight, two, five, nine, and that's as far as I get. Okay. So what looks into something? Box 7 has 1, 3, 5, 9, 8. Uh, 1, 3, 5, 8, 9, so I need 2, 4, 6, and 7. Which goes in that configuration. What else can I do? The column 7, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. I need 1, 4, 5, and 6, and this is actually where I should have started. Neither of these could be 5 or 6. That's a 1, 4 pair. This sees 1 in it, so I can place those digits, and these are 5 and 6. Okay, this is a triple that's left. 7, 8, 9. Three, six, seven, eight. Okay, one looks in here, so one's down to one of three spots, which is annoying. I need one, two, four, five, and nine. Both of these see five. This sees four and nine. One, six, seven, eight are definitively placed in this row. But three must go here. This three and this three will force a three in one of those two specifically. And I can fill out the top three rows relatively fast, can I? One, six, seven, eight, I need two, three, four, five, nine in some combination there. Five is one of those, we know. Uh, row 
two, I don't have enough information. What about row three? Three, four, six, eight, nine. I need one, two, five, and seven. This sees one and five. It must be two or seven. Okay, well, this can't be five because of given. This isn't five by given. This isn't five by given. Where does five go in row three? It goes here. Which has the advantage of saying those are not five. Now that's not five, and therefore this must be. In row six, I've got one, two, four, five, six placed. I need three, seven, eight, nine. This can only be three or eight at C seven nine. goes like that, which doesn't help me much. Three, five, six, nine. I need one, two, four, seven, eight there. Oh, those will be anything. Erg. Those are one, that's not seven or eight. Three, five, seven, eight, nine, so they need one, two, four, and six. for row nine. This is not helpful. Okay, these four cells are not three, seven, and nine, so one, five for odd digits and all the evens. Those aren't four. This isn't two or four. This isn't one or five. That's not one. really hoping I'd have more digits by now. Uh, column one, one, five, six, eight. I need two, three, four, seven, nine. Those two are the only ones left. Well, this is seven, nine. It can't be anything else. I think that's any of them, though. That's two-thirds of a seven, eight, nine. This is two thirds of seven, eight, nine, but I don't have the third one. Two, three, four, five in row four. It says I need one and the rest of them. See, this one sees five, six, and eight by box. And three by column. This one sees one, five by box, and then three. I've got way too many possibilities here. Okay, the rest of this row can't be one or five. Well, actually, this isn't one, five, eight, or nine, so this is. Two, three, four, six, seven. This one is two, three, four, seven. It can't be six. These are not one, two, four, or five. That one drops seven and nine. That one drops a three. That one drops a nine. Okay, these are not one. Four, six, eight, nine. Not seven, not two, three, not five. Now 
we're stuck. I think. Yeah, one, two, four have way too many possibilities there. Well, maybe we're not. Those can't be five because of this. That's a pair. This isn't five because of that. Where does five go in row one? Right there. <coughs> Actually, that did absolutely nothing else. I have to look for hidden digits now. Uh, these are three. This can't be. I may as well mark that as a triple, even though I know it won't do me much good. These aren't one because of this. This isn't one because of that given. This isn't one because of this placed. So where does one go in row four, right here? Therefore, that's six. None of these are six, and neither is that. Or indeed that, or that. Okay, this is 6, that's going to sort out 8, 6 in row 1. This 8 looks down, that's a 5, which makes that 7, this 2, that 3, that 5. Okay, those are not 7. This isn't 2. 7, 8, this must be 9 to complete the column. That's not 6. This gives me a 3, 8 pair in the box. So this definitely is not 3, and also can't be 8, nor can that. This is a 6, 7. So these are essentially a 4, 8, of which that's 4. This is 8. Uh, that's forced to be a 2, that's forced to be a 1, to complete box 8. This is 2, and that ends up being 1 to complete row 9. Now those are two. This ends up as a triple. Um, that's not nine. Let's see. Uh, five looks right. This sorts out the six five in column seven. Those are two. Okay, I've got eight in one of these two, which means these are not eight. And those aren't one either. Let's see, that's a triple. Uh, two looks over here, this must be one, which makes that seven. This two and column three looks up, that's four, that's three. Not four, not four. Uh, not three or four. Oh, two nine makes this a one. And so those aren't one or four, which means that that's a two nine pair. Which makes this a four. That's forced. Seven, not four. Uh, this nothing is done here, and nothing is done here yet. Let's see, what else can I do? Um, seven's out of there because the seven in column two looks down. That's not seven either. That's not seven or nine. Not nine, that's not two, three, four. Okay, this is a hidden six, seven pair that I just discovered. So that's an eight. That's not eight, therefore this must be. That's not, yeah, that's not eight. I didn't mean to drop seven from there. Okay, I've got a 7-9 pair in row 4, so this is not 9. 
perhaps most importantly, that must be 6 because it can't be 7. Thanks to the pair, uh, 3, 8. This must be 8. So 9, uh, 7, that's 9, 2, 9, 2, 9, 3, 4, 6, 7, 4, 7, 2, 7. This is just finishing up at this point. And voila, 15 and a half minutes. Uh, not proud of the fact I had to fill the entire grid. But once I started looking for hidden cells, it essentially collapsed relatively easily after that. So cool.